You know what time it is. Hey. From his mouth to your ears. <laughs> it's the Lock Marie Talk Show. The Lock Marie Talk Show. Now you know. Making all the news and all it to all our people. Look up. And all across the globe, that's the lock, the world's best hell's cold. Raising awareness and bringing the juice. Ain't no other show doing it like you do. Bring in the news the way you do. The cheese of God is a fucking word. All this, a hard throw, a writer, a poet with the seductive voice of reason in. It's our time and season. Bringing black excellence again and again. And you can look at the show with family and friends. Hey, this is my voice, y'all. This is my dick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, 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 no pictures today, okay? (sighs) Y'all, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Happy Sunday. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm just excited about life. Like, you know, you be like, what, what, what's happening? Nothing. I'm alive. I woke up this morning. I'm happy. I'm happy. Leave me alone. I'm happy. Oh, y- y'all heard that on social media. <laughs> but yeah, how are you this beautiful Sunday before? What is this Memorial Day weekend? I think it is. I was like, what? I said, I need to find some place to go. <laughs> if don't nobody invite me anywhere, I'll just go to the pool and sit by the pool and chill. And look cute, as always. Y'all know how I do. But yes, this is your girl, Goddess Lock Marie. That's my new title. I like that. I made that up myself. <laughs> <clears throat> But that was my jingle. Shout out to my boys for hooking me up with that jingle. I was like, hey, hold on. I want me a jingle. Shoot, this is a new year. It's a new season. But yeah, I appreciate them. My brother and my Beats by the One crew. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, and they the only ones who be, boy, they be on me. And boy, I tell you, boy, they be making sure I do what I'm supposed to do, too. <laughs> and I can't even fight back. <laughs> you know, you little sis. I'm the oldest, but I'm the little sis. How is this? How is this possible? <laughs> they the only ones they can get to me, too, y'all. Them and my son, that's it. <laughs> All right. So, let's start off with, I know it's been a while, hi, I missed y'all, y'all miss me, I miss you, and thank you to the 13, 14 people who are now following me on Instagram, I have like, y'all, I moved, I moved a whole, whole state, like clear across the map, so y'all gotta give us some some lenience, (laughs) give me time to get my footing, like, that's a big deal, if you ain't ever moved, and then moved by yourself, you have no idea, no clue. So it's about 
to be two years and I'm just now getting comfortable. I lived my entire life, y'all, in a whole nother state, right? Whole nother energy, whole nother vibe, whole nother set of people. Like, it, I'm t it's night and day. Y'all don't even know the half. <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> But yeah, but I'm gonna get back to it. And plus, literally, literally, you guys, um, I just got internet again. Like I moved since I've been here, cause the first place I was like, no, nah. that was my first spot, you know, temporary, so I could kind of see where I was. But I didn't want to stay there, so I'm in a place I'm more relaxed, I'm more comfortable. So I think I'm gonna stay here for a minute until I decide to move again, because that's just what I do. <laughs> I love variety. I love difference. I love, you know, adventure. That's just who I am. And so I'm learning the older I get that that's okay. See, don't let people who've been stuck or stable or whatever they want to call it in one place all their lives, whether it's a job, a house, a relationship, um, a state, don't let other people, the way they live their life, don't let it affect the way you live yours. Whatever fits right for you, do that. We are all created different. We're not all here to do the same thing. And I'm enjoying being who I am. I'm having fun in the process. Meeting people, learning things, growing, evolving daily. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah, I just got internet. Uh, shout out to Verizon, y'all. The Bizarre. Because <laughs> I was not going to pay no other company when I already got um, cell phone and my portable um, travel internet through Verizon. And then I found out that they had home internet. I was like, where do I sign up? But when I first got out here, they didn't have it in my area. So I patience is a virtue and I held out and when I got that text message that they were servicing my area it was on like Donkey Kong <laughs> you already know one bill y'all that's all I need <laughs> so yeah I'm excited so now I can do my podcast more regularly cause I'm telling you I was using my little portable thing for my TV and my uh, computer one half of a movie took up all the space. <laughs> I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> no. So now I'm good. So you guys will hear my voice more often again. The seductive goddess. The um, poetic spoken word lady. <laughs> I have a lot of titles and I love them all. Um, so let's see. Let's go and do a Everyday Positive Thinking by Louise Hay and Friends. Let's see. Okay, here is something. We'll start on this page. I'm going to start from the beginning later, but right now I'll start here. It says, don't take insults personally. Sidestep negative energy and look for the good in others you can utilize that good as different as it may be to improve your point of view and enlarge your perspective Ooh, y'all I'm gonna get that one some hands clapping that was deep that was so true. I'm telling you, like, it's so much that I want this younger generation to get early in life so they don't live their lives based off of the thoughts, the um, desires, the opinions of other people. Who cares what other people think? That is what I want them to, 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 to grow up with. So, what? <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> I don't care who it is. From your mama 
to your daddy, to your uncles, your aunties, your best friends, your teachers, your cousins. Tell them to mind their business. Your life has nothing to do with theirs. They had their chance. They blew it or they still blowing it, whatever. You live your life. Do not live your life for your mama or your daddy or anybody else. Live your life for you. Please take my advice. Do it now. Start now. Getting some boldness as a young person. So the older you get, the less you have to deal with people. That energy, that vibe won't even be, you won't even be a part of that momentum. Because you won't get it started. Okay? So don't take insults personally. It ain't got shit to do with you. Yeah, I said it. Nothing. What other people think about you, how other people view you, their little jokes and their little, I'm just playing, and their little opinions and uh, advice, and it's just love. I'm saying this out of love. None of that has anything to do with you. Absolutely nothing. It's all based off of what they got going on within them. And the earlier you f- you realize that in life and you accept it, the better off you'll be. I promise you. How people view you, well, you know, girl, if I was you, you would, but you're not. That's what you... Anytime that word, them words come out somebody's mouth, if I was you, stop them right there. Say, but you're not. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all better learn early in life, cause you will not be able to have clear a clear conscience. You will not have a clear super nothing. Like you will be so confused and so. Full of other people's thoughts and ideas and views and goals and visions for your life. That you will never know what's you and what's not. Please, take it from me. Keep your mind clear now. Like the last episode I just did, I just posted. I, I, am, <laughs> I recorded it in February, but I just posted it this morning. My bad. <laughs> I told y'all I didn't have an internet. (laughs) Meditation. Start it early in life. Clear your mind daily so that you can get inspired and you can have your own thoughts and you will know what's you and what's not. You will feel and you will be able to hear your source, your God clearly. You won't have to hear everybody else clutter. You will know. This ain't me. Nope. And in one ear, out the other. Insults and all that other stuff, don't take it personally. That sidestep negative energy. Let them keep it. Stay in your own zone. Stay positive. And no matter what they say, what they do, how they express themselves towards you, what they feel about you, their opinions about you. You just look at them and find good in them. Because your reactions, your views, your thoughts of them only affect you. Just as what they're thinking about you has no effect on you unless you allow it to. All of that they're saying about you, all that gossiping and that talking and that doing they doing about you, all it's doing is bouncing back on them. The boomerang. That's what life is. It's a boomerang. So keep yourself clear so you ain't got to worry about nothing coming back on you. Use it to improve yourself. Use it to say, okay, that's how they think, but you know what? I'm going to be better, bigger. I'm going to be another type of person and I'm going to see the good in them regardless to what they say about me. You ain't got to match nothing. 
The only energy you should be matching is positive energy. The only spirit you should be trying to equate and be um, equal with is good, kind, loving. Things that see the good in others. Anybody focused on what you're doing wrong and point out your flaws and where you need to advance, leave them where they are. It is not their place because I promise you, it's a whole lot they need to be focusing on and advancing themselves. If everybody worry about themselves daily, we don't have time to give advice. We don't have time to counsel. We don't have a nobody. I don't care how many edu- books you done read, how much education you got. Everybody got to worry about themselves. Ain't nobody qualified to run or rule nobody else's life but their own. It's that's just the way life should be. <laughs> It's not going to be for a lot of people because people going to continue to go to council. They're going to continue to spend that money and give away that. Man, cash out me. If you want to just keep giving your money away, send it to me. I will put it to good use. <laughs> How many people been going to the same therapist for 20, 30, 40 years? And guess what? You're going to continue just like that medication you own. It don't get to the core. It just t- touches your symptoms. How do you? How does that make you feel? Not why are you? What's the cause of these feelings? Like it don't get to the core. Like with health, the medicine, the doctor, they just they just pacifying your symptoms. Keep you on a medication for the rest of your life so you can keep the insurance companies paid. You can keep their checks paid. You can keep the quote unquote health care system running. That's all that is. It's a big business. And you heard it here first. <laughs> you don't have to be on that medication. You don't have to be on nobody's couch. If you do the work. That's the only hard work and dedication you need to give in life. Everything else will flow. If you first start within you, get your mind, get your emotions intact. These kind come out through but by prayer and fasting. And it ain't praying the way they taught you to pray. Dwelling on everything that's wrong. Dwelling on the devil and what he ain't binding and casting. No. Because that's why you could have been binding and casting for 15, 20 years. You want results? You want to see prayers answered? Ask in faith, believing that you shall receive and ye shall receive. Tell him what you want. The desires of your heart. Nowhere did he say. Tell me what's wrong. Show me the scripture. Where he said. Vent to me. (laughs) He said. Ask. Believe. And receive. He said. I will give you. The desires of your heart. Exceeding abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. So why are you telling them everything is going wrong and everything you don't like, everything they did to you, why what you didn't want? He, he don't care. You wasting time. All you doing is continuing that process, continuing that momentum, because that's what life is all about. Momentum. Change that momentum and you will change your life. That was deep. Stephen, Stephen, Kobe, you did that, bro. Yes. Improve your point of view and enlarge your perspective. 
That's the only thing that matters in your life is your point of view, your perspective, because you have choices. You are the only one that can make the decisions for your life. You. It took me years, but I'm glad I still would not change a thing because it made me who I am today. Being able to look at life the way I look at it and I don't hold nothing against anybody. I don't blame anybody. I don't nothing the way for years I had something to say about me and my mama's um, relationship and our bond or lack of and all that. Man, I, I'm grateful for the mom she was to me. Whether other people agreed, whether I agreed, whether society agreed or not. I applaud her for who she is being true to herself. I don't want her to be nobody but who she's supposed to be. My grandmother was who she was supposed to be for me and for herself. And I applaud her. Y'all know I applaud her. But I understand my mama more now. I understand the person my grandfather was now. I understand my first husband, my son's father. I applaud him for being true to who he is. I applaud my second husband for being true to who he was and who he is. And guess what? I damn sure applaud me for being true to me and true to who I am. That part. That part. Because guess what? They taught me. I learned from them. So I learned from the best according to the world. I learned from the best. (laughs) Everybody else is doing them. Everybody else is not adapting or adjusting or changing who they are for me. So why am I going to change for anybody? See, you got to look at it from from the perspective. You... If you are the one that everybody keep looking at like you need to change, look at the folks who's telling you you need to change. Are they changing for you? No. So follow their example. (laughs) Be true to who you are. Like they are true to who they are. That's why they were placed in your life. Not to change. Not to change you. But to sharpen. For you both to sharpen each other. And to become better versions of yourself. And if they not the match that's going to take you from here to eternity. I promise you. Women, y'all got to hear me well. There's plenty of men in that I promise you. It's a man in that seat. <laughs> But see, the problem is you still trying to be like your mama, your grandmama and them who got with the one man they met in 1935 and stayed with him until 1990, 1980 when they both died. You trying to be like your cousins and your aunties who went back and forth and back and forth with your uncle and your cousin and your great grand and your you trying to be like them who back and forth back and forth cause I love the, 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 the him and we love the, 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 each other <laughs> let that be their story if it don't fit you if it don't feel good let it go yes ladies contrary to popular belief and yes men your feelings matter too how you feel is important also There is no way you are to just go by 
the feelings of someone else. That does not work for you. You deserve to be happy too. Once we understand this, once we realize when people call you selfish, those are selfish people calling you selfish. But you're not being selfish. Look at it. How are you being selfish, not doing what they want you to do? Selfish is doing what you want to do. So if you're selfish, I applaud you. That's what you're supposed to do. Because guess what? That's what they're doing. They're being selfish. (laughs) Sorry, y'all. I told you, my brother and uh, <laughs> Jason, they the only ones. They are nuts. Just got to text y'all. Hold on. Baby. Baby, where are you? I'm horny. You know how I get when it rains. <laughs> Good cuddle. <laughs> pull up on me so you can pull up in me. <laughs> you are listening to the seductive goddess, the poetic spoken word goddess, and my boy JC, who's who I'm texting right now and nut. <laughs> He on this track. I think this is the track that I don't think his verse is on this one though. I'm not sure. I gotta download all the other um, tracks on this um, podcast because I had to switch my podcast. I'm playing all of our songs on here now. That's right. That's right. But yeah, so um, you you not selfish? <laughs> Think about it. Does that make sense? You just selfish. Because I won't share my chips with you. I'm selfish. You're right. I'm supposed to be selfish. <laughs> that, uh, why? Why? You get your own. <laughs> It's a choice. Because I won't go where you want me to go. Because I don't feel like going. It's a choice. Let people have their choice. You have yours. They call you. Girl, I don't feel like going today. Um, No, y'all going without me. But you not selfish. (laughs) Y'all, you got to look at things the way it's supposed to be looked at. Folks been getting over on you for real, for real. <laughs> but that's the way we was taught. As from kids on up, we were trained that way. So it's it's like years of momentum that we didn't even get was being done to us. Not sometimes, not purposely, but some adults knew exactly what they was doing. But you know, hey, to each their own. It is what it is. But now we are all adults, and we have choices. And if you want to continue, <laughs> you know what? I'm like, all right, keep clowning me if you want to. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look, for those out there, farting is a natural reaction of the body ain't nothing wrong with it (laughs) I'm just saying (laughs) oh god (laughs) I'm sorry y'all y'all know we look we family if y'all new to my station I don't fake no funk (laughs) <laughs> he said not on a podcast that's offensive <laughs> yeah okay 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lord help us. Mm, mm, mm. As my Gigi would say, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yes, this soundtrack that I'm playing are all beats by the one. I'm so proud of my brother, y'all. I gotta have him on here again. I'm gonna work out a day with him where he can um we can record. Oh, we got a new um recording um studio now we can use so I can uh we can record each other as if we're the same place. Until I get back to Texas and he come visit me in Alabama. I have to get them all here. Oh, Lord. But this is In Motion by Beats by the One. Yeah, stop letting folks make you think you selfish or make you think you crazy. It's not you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Let them live their life and you live yours. Point blank. All right. Like I said, if you're new to my uh, podcast, we family here. Ain't no editing. Ain't no cutting, slicing. What you hear is real life. And that's how I like it. <laughs> this is the Lock Marie Show. So I do it the way I want to do it. Now. So let's see. We read our everyday positive thinking. We spoke on some meditation. Um, I did some writing this morning when I woke up. I uh, just I was inspired, but um, oh, I'll, I'll keep that for another time. I wanna. I just found something else that I wrote back last year in November. It says, "Do not limit yourself to the past." The past is not real. The present moment is the only thing that is real. Do not attach yourself to your past as you fall asleep. I got this, um, some of this information from a, um, 21 day meditation uh, challenge that you can do to um, help you create anything you want in life. So let's do let, let's let that be the gist of this podcast episode. All right, I'll put that as a title. So we're gonna do 21 day manifestation meditation challenge. Okay. Because um, what do we do before we go to bed at night? We lay in bed and we replay. We press rewind in our mind and we replay stuff that what? That already happened. That's already done. You can't change it, right? The only thing you can do is you should be doing now is pressing fast forward or play to go forward. If you're going to replay it, replay it the way you want it to be or the way it should be in the positive way stop rewinding and replaying the negative or an even worse case scenario than you dealt with focus on how you wanted it to happen and guess what you pushing it forward and that's how things will start happening you meet a guy it don't work. The relationship goes south. You meet another guy. You lay in bed. And instead of playing forward how you want this to pan out, you go back into the last one, get what happened there, put the new guy face on that scenario, and play that forward, and then get mad when it happens again. That's why, ladies, all you're meeting is dogs. That's why, ladies, all you're meeting are this type of man, that type of man, this type of situation, that type of situation. 
because you keep creating it in your mind with your thoughts and your emotions. But we not we won't fess up because it's so much easier to point the finger. It's so much easier to blame the men in our lives. It's so much easier to blame everybody else. Women Take responsibility for your life. Challenge yourself the next 21 days. Give yourself time because I know it's going to be time. So start June 1st. From June 1st, June 21st. But start today. Don't limit yourself to the past. You want a different situation in your relationships? Even in the same marriage you're in now. I don't care how long you've been married to that man. You can change and get a new man tomorrow. Well, not technically not actually tomorrow. But it may take you time depending on the momentum you got going in that relationship. And how long you've been playing that tune in your head about your marriage or about your relationship. But you can change it. If you want to. If you want to keep that same face. And that same man. You can. Or you can leave him. And change it before you get to the next one. By clearing that story. And creating a new one. And then you will attract. Someone that's capable of. Playing out that new one with you. Ladies. Men also, I'll talk to us all. Because men, y'all listen to me more than women. So I'm going to talk to y'all. Don't worry about the woman that screwed you over. Don't worry about the gold diggers. Don't worry about the woman who just wanted you for your looks. Or wanted you for your money. Or whatever y'all be saying. What y'all be saying? Huh? Wanted you. She just wanted you for your, for your uh, cucumber. <laughs> what was that uh, emote y'all use for the for the man part now? <laughs> Is that a cucumber? <laughs> y'all crack me up. Be conscious of your thoughts as you fall asleep, and make sure you are not absorbing the past, your past mistakes that you made, or the lack of abundance that you had. Do not limit yourself to the past. Change it by monitoring your thoughts and falling asleep with a new conception of self as you fall asleep. It is up to you to change your reality daily. Yes, as children, we were grown into we were raised into we were brought into other adults reality we didn't know we had we we knew what we knew but we were trained uh, taught molded brainwashed whatever words we want to use into other people's concept and perceptions of life In order to change that, you now have to consciously do it. And it starts with you. No one else. No counselor, no teacher, no preacher, no friend. No one else can do it but you. Take the time each day before you go to bed, when you lay down to go to sleep. Clear your mind. Set your intentions of what you want to happen in the next segments of your life, which are the next day. Because at night, everything stops. That's why the scripture says each day is new mercies, new grace. Because it's a chance to start over every time. That's why waking up is a blessing. That's why every time you open your eyes, you should thank God for a new day. That's why living is a gift. Because it's a chance to get it right. 
if there is a right or wrong, but it's a chance to do it better than you did the day before. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new chance, y'all. That's how you have to look at life. That's what drives you in life. But you know what we let drive us or what we've been programmed to let drive us? Which is why we need to reprogram our minds. We let, oh God, we alarm go off. You wake up. Oh, now I got to go deal with this shit. I got to go deal with this nut. I got, you go back into what happened yesterday or what been happening for the last week, week and a half, month, year. Or you look over at your, <laughs> your mate. <laughs> and y'all people. I know, I know I've been, been there. <laughs> and you roll your eyes. Oh, now I got to deal with this nigga again. <laughs> now I got to deal with this woman again. No, you are choosing to deal with that one that you dealt with the day before or the weeks before. You can wake up each morning to a new mate and the same face. Or... A different face. <laughs> Your preference. I'm just saying. I don't judge. <laughs> Some of y'all, you know, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but you decide before you go to bed. I don't care how heated that discussion was. That's why he said, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Not just because you may not wake up. Because when you, what's even worse is if you wake up and you still got that momentum going and you're going to replay it over and over and it's going to continue to go forward into your future. Think about it. Clear your mind. Clear your heart. Clear all that. Forget the past. Ladies, we are bad at this. Let it go. Let that shit die the day before. I'm going to be honest. Because I, like I said, I was married twice. And I've dealt with men. Men usually let it go. They want to move forward. But we are like elephants. We don't want to let it go. We want to replay it. We want to talk about it. We want to figure it out. We want to hash on it. We want to make them f- know our what we un- understand how I'm feeling and know what I mean and apologize to me and cut off his left leg and arm and give blood. <laughs> Beating a dead horse. Give the man grace. Give yourself grace. And let it go. That's how you let it go. By letting it go. That's how you don't replay it. By not replaying it. I'm about to say something. 43.22 seconds on this podcast. That's not going to sit right with a lot of women. You were cheated on. Because you keep creating that scenario in your mind. And it keeps happening. Because you keep it alive. He keeps lying to you. Because you keep focusing on the fact that he lied. And you're keeping it active in your mind. And you're keeping it active. And you're keeping the momentum going. Which if it's anywhere in him. It will continue And you will continue to pull that part of him out of him. It's all vibrational. That's why they say, I don't even know why. I don't understand. They can't explain it because they're just cooperative components in this world God created with the law of attraction. But that's a little deep for y'all. You got to be advanced for that. But I'm just telling you, if you want stuff to change. If you want to stay with that man, but get a different version of him, if you want him to run home to you every day and not run to his side piece or run over here, it starts with you taking responsibility for you. (laughs) Yep, I 
put you on blast, bro. <laughs> it starts with you. Ladies, I'm telling you, you can get that. You What you see other women have, see, they got that romantic, that fantasized, that um, fairy tale love life relationship with their spouse because they get it. And you swear up and down they don't have it. And they play they faking a the funk or they just you know, stop showing us all the good. Some people it is all good because they get it. At points in my marriage, it was all good. That's why I'm telling you, it, it, it is a shock when things happen because when you're focused on the good, there that's all there is to focus on because that's all you get. But it's not until your mind starts focusing on the opposite. Or you're dealing with someone who has so much momentum from their past. All the negative. All the the, the issues. And they can't get past it. And it's your choice if you're going to stay there and try to get past it with them. Like I said, it's a choice. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just not that one. You're not going to continue to play that same tune with me that I ain't got nothing to do with and thinking I'm going to stay there and be cool with because I have a choice. So we're going to do this right or we're not going to do this at all. That's where I am and that's who I am. And that's why men come in my experience and they float out. Because until I find the perfect vibe, if that exists in one man, I'm just saying. Some people, it ain't to be just one person for the rest of your life. And if that's my experience, I am cool with it. Because it has been a fun ride, (laughs) y'all. There's some really cool dudes out there, for real. They really are. But women, we don't give them a chance. We judge them. We talk about them. And then we wonder why we get that part of them. Because that's all you focus on. There's so much. You got 90% traits that are perfect in this man. But you will... Drill to the ground the 10% that needs to that you think needs to change. He got two or three habits that you don't like or you don't agree with, or you were raised that were wrong. And instead of looking at all the positive things this man has to offer you. You focus on those and that stays magnified in your relationship or your situation. And then you wonder why. I'm just saying. It starts and it ends with you ladies. Take responsibility. Men, it starts and it ends with you take responsibility for what you create daily that's what you get from other people is what you are attracting from them it is an attraction based world not just physical attraction but emotional vibrational spiritual attraction and if you're attracting what you don't want maybe you need to step aside go within leave other people out the equation for a minute get yourself in order so that when you go back out and and begin to attract You will attract a different version and a different side of people. But if while you're by yourself, 
you're just still judging and talking about what happened and why it shouldn't have happened and why it happened and what it could have what they should have did different and why they you all you're doing is holding that momentum and that next face you're gonna get the same exact thing it starts and it ends with you all right so I just wanted to give you something else to think about. Y'all know how I do. This is an evolving podcast. We think differently on here. We don't. We outside the box. We find solutions for stuff that been going on for centuries. Them generational curses don't have to exist. We keep them active. We keep them going by t- teaching and regurgitating the same stuff over and over again stop telling your kids that mess and you won't have to deal with it stop believing that stuff yourself if it's broke fix it stop being a problem based society and be a solution based alright alright I love y'all I appreciate you and um, this has been your girl. You know who. Let's go with the jingle. Oh, girl. Goddess Coach Lock Marie. And I will see you on the next. On the next, the next, the next episode. All right. I love you all. <laughs> yeah, it's the one and only talk show. Get it while it's hot. Fresh from the press, slap the box. Raw knowledge without a.